Hi, Tom Fraioli here, and welcome to my YouTube channel and to my website, www.fiddlefrymusic.com, and to the first of four video lessons and discussions that are designed to enhance several key aspects and elements of violin technique as it relates to improvising within the jazz and blues idioms. This lesson, as well as the next three within this series, are all derived from chapters in my new book entitled The Blues Violinist Workbook, which along with several other of my publications on blues and jazz violin playing can be found and purchased on my website. Today's video is directed and geared toward the violin player who is beginning to learn to improvise. The most popular of all blues forms is the 12-bar blues. Being able to memorize a 12-bar chord progression helps to create a strong mental picture of the tune and its inherent harmony, and is indispensable to the success of any improvisation. Today's 12-bar progression is in the key of A minor, and can be analyzed and more easily memorized by breaking down the progression into three four-bar groups. Bars 1 through 4 are A minor. Bars 5 through 8 are two bars each of D minor and two bars of A minor. Bars 9 through 12 are one bar each of F major, E major, and A minor, with the final bar of F major and E major acting as a turnaround or a repeat. I recommend writing down this 12-bar progression on music paper and referring to it while you watch the video. Performing these chord changes by spelling out each chord in an arpeggiated form helps to strengthen the fundamental understanding of the harmonic movement within the chord progression. The following three exercises illustrate this method. Each chord in the progression is arpeggiated in quarter notes through two octaves. At the same time, some basic chord extensions including dominant seventh, minor seventh, and sixth chord extensions are also introduced. I will now perform these three exercises to a 24-bar blues accompaniment and in each exercise I'll play the first 12 bars while you listen and watch. Then you play with me as best you can on the repeat of the 12 bar progression. Major and minor triads. Seventh chords. Sixth chords. Thank you. 
Well, I hope this demonstration on jazz and blues improvisation has been helpful and useful to you. Use this simple tried and true method of playing over the chord changes of some of your favorite songs. It will surely help start you on your way to thinking and playing your improvisations more intuitively. For a copy of the sheet music of this video, write to me at my website, www.fiddlefrymusic.com, and I will be happy to send it to you. There, you can also view and purchase any of my jazz and blues publications. Thanks for watching. See you next time.